was up so late last night watching that fucking Japan earthquake shit. Oh, this stuff is crazy. This world is going fucking. I had the interview today. I just went and checked the address that he gave me. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I need to start checking these things. I can't go to this interview. Because the fucking... The place is two hours away. Well, my landlord just called me. It's almost the middle of the month. Where's your rent? The shit's starting to build on itself. And that's never a good thing. It's okay when one bad thing happens, but when it starts to build uh, one thing after another, no, that, that's, that's when shit's starting to go bad. So I need to correct this situation. I need to fucking correct it now. Well, thankfully, uh, I hadn't had told my landlord about my little slip down the stairs. So um, I made sure that uh, after she sent me that email asking for the rent that I informed her of this. Um, so she did back off a little bit. She's gonna. She said she's gonna contact me next week and see what's going on with that. Um, so hopefully that gets done. And this fucking job interview, man. I'm. I just totally jumped the gun on that shit, man. I don't know why I didn't look it up when, when yeah, I applied for it. I mean, it, this place is way too far away. I made a decision. I'm gonna go to the EI office today. Um, I wasn't going to go because it's raining out and all that sort of stuff, but I, I don't want to take the chance of them fucking up something and then after my landlord today asking me for the rent and everything, it's just, I don't want to take the chance. Um, so I'm going to try to scrounge out some money for the bus here out of my piggy bank. Uh, thankfully, I have been putting... Uh, all my dimes, nickels, and pennies I just throw in there and I keep the quarters and loonies for myself. Uh, so thankfully I, uh, I should have enough for the bus in there. Man, oh man. Let's get this done. So, <laughs> I'm trying to understand, right, what's the point of this office if there's no way for you guys to tell what's going on with the processes? There's a process, there's processing time involved. It could take a, Well, I know there's processing time. It could take 21 but, days to process a But if there's no way for it could be you... shorter, it could be longer, especially if they have to liaise with the employer about certain situations, that could be longer. But if there's no way for you to actually see what's going on with the process... I see what's going on, there's no decision made as of yet. That's what I see. What a fucking waste of time that was. The lady sat there for an hour telling me, Oh, you just have to claim your reports. You just have to send in your reports. Well, no fucking shit. I've done that already. Oh, you got a report due today. Maybe you should fill that out. Maybe it'll help out. No, it won't help out because my application is still in process. You are here at a Service Canada office to do your job and tell me what's going on with my fucking application. But apparently, all they're able to do at that fucking office is tell you that it's processing. They can't actually do anything. Their, their job is just to sit there and be fucking yes men. Ah! God damn it! My battery died as I was losing it. 
That's too bad, too, because that's the first time in many, many years I've actually fucking lost it. I lost it. I absolutely, I stood there on the side of the street just fucking yelling. And I get to the ferry terminal. The ferry leaves the second I give him my transfer. And then he gives me my transfer back and tells me that it's expired now and the next ferry is not going to be for another half an hour and your uh, transfer expires in five minutes. So I had to walk back. I get outside, I get one block, it starts to rain. I can barely even think straight right now. I'm just confuffled. You no, know, after you know, the last month we've had the Egyptian Revolution. We have all the Middle East countries starting to revolt and you know overthrowing dictatorships and we have the American government screwing over the American people and fucking over the system and stealing and promising this and promising that and taking this and taking that and then we have the Japanese earthquakes and tsunamis and thousands dead and meanwhile I'm sitting here fucking When you look at the whole world and everything that's going on, all my troubles seem irrelevant. Which pisses me right off. <laughs> uh, there's only so much shit one person can take before they finally lose it, and I think I finally lost it. This stuff is just bullshit. If I was anywhere else in the country, I guarantee this wouldn't be happening. If I was in Ontario, fuck, this definitely wouldn't be happening because my EI would have been approved like that. If I was out west, there wouldn't be a problem because there's fucking jobs everywhere and the pay is ridiculous. So I wouldn't even have this issue of having to look for work and shit like that. And the people out there are there to work. They're not there to fuck over everybody else. <sighs> I'm really, really, really starting to regret moving back here. It's like moving back in time, man. I don't know what the fuck is the matter with this place, but you know, I, I'm thinking the longer I'm here, the worse things are gonna get. You know, I'm doing everything I can to make make them go properly. You know, get get a good job, get decent money. You know, do the right things and all that sort of stuff. But you know, I think the second I have that opportunity, I'm out of here. <sighs> you know, I guess the flip side of all this is there's absolutely nothing I can do now until at least Monday. And I can sit here and look for work, but that's that's it. I mean, I don't have, I literally have no money. I can't go take the bus. I can't use my phone. Um, you know, I, if if someone for an employment calls me, they're gonna have to leave a message because I don't have any more time on my phone, and I don't have any money to put on it. So, you know, all I can do is just sit here and apply for the rest of the weekend. But if EI doesn't get on their ball and get the ball rolling and give me my fucking money or I don't get a job here real quick then shit's gonna start hitting the fan for me and unfortunately I'll take you guys along for the ride as far as I can uh, I'm gonna go on Skype here, I've been talking to you guys for a little bit here but I'm gonna go on Skype and try to work out my frustrations and you know, try to get back in myself get myself back in a good mood because um, you know you guys are really good at, at supporting one another here in New Orbit and uh, it's really nice to know that there's people here I can talk to. So, um, this is gonna seem a little redundant, but stay strong, stay wise, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow.